ready, sir? Yeah, sorry. Alright. Okay, so, right, this question, um, you know what, one thing I've noticed, on a serious note, we've got, um, we've got a lot of younger viewers. Mm. Like, on, mm. one of them commented on one of our videos, I was like, oh my goodness, like, younger, like, we're mm. talking teens. Like, so, it's good to know, um, you know, that we are influencing. influencing, we're reaching out to a mm. wide range of audiences, so. A lot of people are commenting saying we should have a lot more, like, subscribers and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff, mm. uh, hopefully, you know, soon, to think. Anyway, mm. right, so, this says, I'm 16 and I'm considering getting into my first relationship. What advice would you give? Zayna, go first. I think you should go first, Jay. You want me to go first? Mm. Um, I don't know what you have to say. I would say, um, all right, say from a, because I can't tell by the name if it's a, a boy or a girl. Um, I would say, chill out. 16 is too young. 16 is too young. I got into my first relationship at 17 and... So a year older than 16? Yeah, I was young. Yeah. Um, this is what I'm saying, like, and I didn't know what the flip I was doing. Like, I honestly, if I saw that girl again, she's like married now and stuff. But if I saw that girl again, I would actually apologize to her. But my question is because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But did you think it was going to be a serious relationship? No, no, but yeah, like, she, I mean, when you're young, this is this is the thing, right? Mm. When you're younger, like, especially in, in, in England. And stuff like mm. that, and you know these places, and especially if you grow up around marriage and stuff, you're shown that you find your 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 missus, you stay with her, you get married, you have children, blah blah blah, and it's better to start at a young age, especially for women, for mm. children, and all that stuff, right? But mm. in actuality, I just think I don't think you should get into your first relationship until your mid twenties. I think I, if when I have children, I will tell I would if they ask me this question, I'm going to say ideally. Wait until your mid twenties because I think you're still at sixteen. You do not know, and you don't know nothing about not anything, you know. Mm. So, like literally, you're still finding yourself. You still, if you want to go to university, that's a thing as well. If you want to go on holidays, I think you need to kind of, especially from a melt, like you need to go and you need to be a little bit reckless, safely, obviously, wrap it up, and um, oh my like, God. yeah, obviously, come on now. We've got we've got to promote, you know, the right messages and stuff. But yeah, um, see, my thing is, Jay. I think it's too early. You got you got. I think it depends on your level of maturity and your life experiences because I, I maybe 16 is too young but I think I wouldn't say wait until your mid 20s I think it just depends on your level of maturity and your um, sorry those kids threw me off <laughs> and your um, your your life experiences because I know people who have gotten um, you know in a serious relationship slash married at a very young age and their uh, you know their marriage is working and I've never you know they've never been better but I've also seen people who are you know currently in their late twenties you know early thirties and they're still looking for the right one and they're not ready to commit I just think it depends on a level on your level of maturity and your life experiences because I'm very young Young, but you know I wouldn't say that um, if I had to get into, if if I was getting into a relationship now I don't think I'd be oh no I have to wait a few more years because you know I'm, I, I need to be you know in my mid to late 20s no I think I think You're it just depends though. It's no, different. it doesn't matter. I think it's I, No, I don't think... I think there's men out there who who, who have been, uh, you know, who have gained a lot of life experiences through, you know, the life that they've lived and who are mature to be married at a young age. I, and I also think there's men who are who are not ready to be married at a, or, you know, in a relationship at a young age, and I understand that. But I think there's a lot of men who are. Yeah, but I, I think it's a lot... It's The reason why I say it's different, yeah, because I, obviously I don't know what it's like to be a woman mm. um, but I can just say from a male's perspective there, get, there comes an age where you want to figure stuff out yeah and, yeah. and, and you can't do that in a relationship you just but can't no no I no no I don't agree especially when you start getting a beard so. <laughs> I'm joking <Zane. laughs> well I think if you're with the right person Mm -hmm. Then I think you should you should be able to grow and do your do your own you know kind of um, living even if you're with someone mm -hmm. because no matter what age you are you should be in a relationship with someone who's going to help you grow and help you you know learn and and, and develop and, and and become the person you want to be I don't think a relationship should stop you from doing that. All right, so we know of people. I'm not, we're not going to say. I'll, I'll tell you after off, off the camera. Yeah, but he was in a relationship. And he had a chance to go to another country, mm. yeah. But 
he was in a rela he was with someone obviously and he was like i can't leave because i'm with her and it was a really big opportunity it wasn't because he wasn't in like obviously he was mad in love with her but he was like i don't want to leave her and obviously but, our, my, our relationship means a lot but as the girl i would have been like go no, because i would have stayed you. loyal yes what, yes he's gone for three years three years i'll go with him <laughs> Where's he going? Is this hammer hot? Is there a no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like he had, But this is the point. Like we're talking, this guy was fairly young, and he was like, "I, I, it's gonna be. I want to do it, but I don't know if I can make. I don't know if I can leave my girlfriend." Now, what I'm saying is that I think you can. No, 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 no. Because you, okay, you're saying it from a, a very unrealistic perspective. So no, I'm not, Jay. You are saying no, it from I'm not, Jay. No man is gonna go, especially a British man, is gonna go to America and he's gonna be faithful for three years under under, and he's not married. It's but not if he's going willing to, to not go to America because he loves her so much, why would he go to America? He's gonna cheat. More than likely, he's gonna have an. But if he likely. loves her so much to the point where he's even considering not but he going, didn't go, but he didn't go. Obviously, he didn't go. He didn't go because. He, but then, th what's interesting is that they're not in a relationship anymore. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that if he's not in that relationship, he can then. You know what I mean? It, it, there's nothing. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. And I think at a certain age, you have to go out and you have to go and explore that i don't mean that in a nasty way i mean literally go and explore the world find yeah. out who you are and i think in sometimes people who try to do that in a relationship often end up heartbroken someone often ends up heartbroken because you can't like you there's certain things you ha just have to do there's certain things you have to experience look i understand that i understand hmm. but but i don't if you are with the right person i don't think that should make a problem I know of a few people. I've got a few close friends that have been in like fairly like successful relationships since they were like sixteen. So I know mm. it, it can work, but I'm just saying it's like. And I, do you know what I think of as well? Say if you do, you're one of those people who've been in a relationship from the time you're sixteen and you get to thirty five and then you break up. Like, what was all of that for? You know what I mean? And do you know what a lot of the reasons are? Is like I haven't had a time to just grow. I haven't had a time to because there's some people who no, hang on, Zayna, because there's some people who do stay in relationship from the time they're 16, 15, maybe even younger, to like a certain age, and they're faithful. Mm. Both of them, they just like with that one person, they do everything together, have kids, whatever. And it gets to a point when they're like, actually, I've never, I've never actually done anything for myself. I've but never then gone that's, out. but that's, but that's not, that's not a true relationship because even though in a relationship, like, um, you should you know be together and blah 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 but i still think in a relationship uh, the man or the woman should feel free to do yeah what, but what, this is what what's going to help them i think no matter what you want to do you being in a relationship shouldn't stop you from doing that do unless you, know? you what you want to do is going around to, you know mm, you know, right. other women or other men then okay but but okay. whatever you if you want to grow in your job i don't think a relationship should stop you if you want to grow um i don't know I don't know. What, whatever uh, it is, I don't think a relationship I, should stop you. Deep what I'm saying now, yeah? Do you know another reason? I, 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 it's completely slipped my mind why I think it, it would be beneficial, beneficial to wait, yeah? You know how much crap there is out there? You have to. You don't want to have to go through. Are you talking about females? Yes. How many rubbish? Like, um, and again, from a woman's perspective, there's a lot of crap men out there. So mm. there's a lot of crap. There's diff there's there's different variations of crap, and it's it's amazing how many different variations are. I didn't realize, mm. yeah, until a certain point. So I think you have to kind of experience those situations, not necessarily in a relationship, but mm. go out there, date, see what is out there. So when you settle down, you are. 99% sure that you're with the right person for you and a lot of the times it's trial and error so you go through these relationships mm. and then you go oh, oh well gosh, gosh I'll put up with this I'll put up with this the next time I'm not, and then the next time is something else so I think going through certain situations mm. and I think it's only it takes a certain level of maturity to actually realise what it is that you want mm. do you know what I mean so yeah. I, I, think, I mean I get that yeah. I do get that but don't, I don't think so you know? <laughs> But Jay, like, come on, come on. Like, I I have not been in many relationships in my whole entire life. But mm -hmm. but I know what I want and what I don't want. And I'm under 25. I think, obviously, the more life experiences you have and the more, um, like, you can deal with situations maturely, I think definitely, uh, but that's not dependent on age. I think that's just what you need to have. Yeah. Good life experiences in those kind of matters. Like, I have seen... Um, it's not that I'm living vicariously through my friends, but I've seen my friends go through things that I know I would never accept in a relationship. It's, it's, it's the nuance, it's the little things. Like, do you know what? I realised being in a relationship where the communication, what, you hungry? That wasn't me, that was the car. That was the car? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> your belly is like, No, right. that wasn't me, Jay. <laughs>
You don't, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was with someone for two, two years and I didn't realise how important communication was until I didn't have it. So mm. I realised in that moment, okay, I can never be with someone where the communication is terrible. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, but you put up with it because it's something new. Like, oh, I didn't realise it meant so much to me. Mm. So the obvious things are, you know, you just, you don't really compromise. But there's other little things that come into play that only being in different situations would help you realise. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the stuff you're talking about is the extreme, um, the extreme examples, which I think most people would agree with. But like I said, things like communication, like it is so important. Uh, yeah. But you'll be surprised about how many people don't value it or are really bad at it, male and female. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's just about, you know, that's why I'm like, just wait, just chill. You can date, you can be around people, you can have all these experiences and not, you, like there's a pressure to feel like you have to be in a relationship, like because it's what all we see when there's actually no pressure. Like male, and um, I'm, again, forget all the biological, like, I'm just saying for male, male and female, like there's no pressure, especially at, at such a young age. My you advice to anyone, young, old, whatever, would just be know who you are, mm. make sure that you're with someone who's going to help you become that person or who you want to be, mm. know, know that, mm. and, and just be ready to have a mature way of thinking. Mm. That's my advice. Know who you want it for male and female. If, if, if you... It, if you, you? If, yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> no, but if that's that's my only advice to, to to the person who wrote in, my advice to you would be just know who you are, know who you want to be if you don't know who you are yet, because you're still young. I understand, but just know what kind of person you want to be. And if that person's gonna help you grow, then you can be with them. It's not a problem. It doesn't mean it's gonna have to be a long term thing. They, you like sometimes those little relationships help you grow and help you learn and help help you become a, di a better person. Also as well you gotta wait for man to get his beard as well. I had to slip that in there. The final infinity stone. No, no, the we're not. The final infinity no, stone. If you're no. with a guy and his beard is just coming, be ready for what's no. coming. Be ready for the for the for the wave. Yeah. All right. Do you want to close out the episode? Don't listen to Jay. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm playing. I'm playing. Just the try. beard does come with powers, but we're shut great. up, Jay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Come. Okay. So anyway, what do you guys think? Let us know what you think. Comment down below. Let us know. Do you think 16 is too young? Do you think there should be a time age? Time frame? Time age? Time frame. Time age? Time. Age? Age frame? A time frame. Time and age? An age. The right age. Is there the a right, right age? age. <laughs> is there a yeah. right age? Is there a right age? Yeah. 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 Should there be restrictions? Should you be in a certain point in your life? We don't know. Let us know Let what us you guys know, think. Man. Comment below. Yeah. And hit that follow. subscribe. Follow the shout. Follow Zayna. Yep. Follow, follow Jay. Follow myself. Yep. yep. And... We will see you on the next episode. episode. Bye.